good morning. I'm trying to get my seat right. My husband drove last and he's 6'4", so like afterwards, I feel like it takes me forever to get the seat back. Good morning, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be another moving vlog. Am I allowed to call it a moving vlog when we moved in in April? March? <sighs> Listen, I feel like it still counts. I don't know what else to title it. Maybe I'll do something else with like decorating and home decor and unpacking, but I mean, we're still going through the stages of moving into the house, finding furniture, furnishing the house, um, unpacking. So the other day, like two days ago, we finally cleared out our storage unit. We got a storage unit when we were putting our other house on the market just to get like everything out of it so that it would look really nice when it was on the market and not have any clutter or nothing like in the closets or the garage. So we finally cleared all that out. So now our house is like filled with boxes. It kind of feels like we just moved in. I don't know, we're still kind of getting a feel for it, rearranging furniture, so today's video is a lot of that. And also a little bit later in today's video, I will be sharing my new Eureka Rapid Clean Pro Vacuum. I am a big fan of Eureka. I've worked with them before in the past. I have their steam mop. They have some really great deals coming up for Amazon Prime Day, so I can't wait to share that with you guys, but that will be a little bit later in the video. <laughs> So we always wondered why this tile in the bathroom was like, oh wait, I'm not even on it. We always wondered why this tile in the bathroom was so high up, like it was like a drop down to the other flooring. But it looks like whenever they laid this tile, they just put it on top of like everything else. Like it almost looks like there's three layers of flooring. So all this is coming out and then this is where we're at right now. Yay! Even though the shower is not gonna be as fancy as it was before, just because it wasn't in the budget to get that same sort of shower, we're just getting like a basic tub and shower combo. Don't worry about Bennett Will's trying, or James is trying to put him down. But we are getting like nice flooring and it'll look nice. I'm just excited for it to not be leaking. So this is the coffee table that I picked out from Ikea. So I'm gonna put that together and put it right here. I'm thinking it's pretty much the same color as that. Maybe, hopefully it's at least in the same color family, but I'm gonna put that together now. Wow, I think it's like the exact color of that side table. What would be the chance of that? this is part of the coffee table is that not like an exact color match for this table from Target it even is like a similar style which I didn't even think about just like these rods remind me of those legs Wow okay I'm excited Nothing like your smile in the morning. on your cheeks because baby in your absence life is born. okay how about instead of watching this process i just do something like this ta-da i did it okay it's a little more orangey than i would like so now i'm kind of debating on if i should keep it or return it <sighs> As you can see, I thought they were the same color. I think the legs are, but for some reason the top is a little more like bright than this. This is the color I was hoping for. 
but I'm like, hmm, I'm just trying to decide if I want to keep this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mommy is not as strong as you think she is. Sometimes I'm not sure what to say Most times I get lost in my way I, once again, will show you when it's done. that's here and I need to vacuum the living room anyway so I'm just gonna put it together real quick so I can use it because I've been looking forward to this has really good reviews on Amazon and I love this brand Eureka this is what like brand I have for my steam mop okay Our vacuum, we had a shark vacuum and it broke. I don't know how to fix it. Every time I like lift it up so I can vacuum everything, it'll look like it's vacuuming perfectly. And then when I like go to lift it up to move it or to put it in like a closet or whatever, all everything that was in it dumps out and falls on the floor. So it's like, there's no point in vacuuming. This, this is my first ever cordless vacuum. Oh, I might have to charge it. I really want to use it right this second. Hopefully it has like a little bit of a charge. Okay, I just turned it on. Which one was it? And it has a little bit of a charge. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it real quick. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and lightweight and cordless. Yay! Okay, let me do a quick little vacuum. Here is the front entryway. I have been needing a rug for right here. Um, I just didn't know what I wanted. And then I saw this one that's just a jute rug. It was a pretty good price from Ikea. And I think it's gonna be perfect there. And it's like a good texture for coming in from outside, I think. I don't know. I left the, it does me. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. It started racing. The crowd across the way. Was on your face and then I'm from the eighties. Someone keeps back in my way. I can't feel farther away. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. Hey. This is not as satisfying to roll out when it's upside down. Okay. Come. perfect I think it's the perfect size great color great texture for by the front door yay <laughs> I like that it like goes to where the windows as opposed to like a little guy perfect so this is the Eureka rapid clean pro and Eureka was kind enough to send it to me to review for you guys so like I said I'm a huge fan of Eureka I have their steam mop but I have never owned a cordless vacuum before. I didn't really think I needed one, I guess, but let me tell you, this is a game changer. I love it. It is 
so lightweight and so convenient and I just feel like I find myself using the vacuum so much more often with the cordless because I'm not having to like unwrap and rewrap a cord and like lug it through the house. It's so small and skinny so it's able to get under furniture really well and in little crevices. It gets under the couch, under the bed. It also has up to 40 minutes of fade free runtime, so you don't have to worry about it dying on you while you're cleaning and I just keep it on the charger at night or like sometimes if I think about it in between every cleaning but you don't have to and it's really great because it has two power settings so there's a regular one as well as a max power for increased suction on carpets or rugs so I've had mine for a couple weeks now and so far I love it I've used it to clean like underneath the couch cushions and just regular everyday cleanings the stairs my car so I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested and thank you so much to Eureka for sponsoring today's video coffee table it was so yellow I didn't love it so I was like you know what I'm gonna go for something a little darker so I got this one from Target and then I put it together and it's just a very like fake wood and I was gonna kind of just live with it cuz I was like eh, it's good enough but then my mom came over and she was like and I was like okay you know what I don't love it either I was just gonna kind of settle cuz I was like this is the second one I bought so we returned the Ikea one today, and I'm taking this one apart now. The Ikea one we didn't have to take apart. You can return stuff like put together there. I'm taking this one apart though, and like repackaging it up so I can take it back to Target before I buy my third coffee table. And I'll tell you guys, the one that I really want that I really like is like a mango. It's called like a round mango wood. I'll put it on the screen. I love it. Every time I see it, I love it. And I just saw another girl like post about it on TikTok and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. But it's $412. So I don't know if I can do it. However, I did have two of these coffee tables in my house for the last week that were 200 each. So technically that was $400. <laughs> but I didn't want to spend that much on one coffee table. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. It's kind of like... I keep buying ones I don't really like just because they're cheaper. So I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna get the option that I want. Uh, hopefully third time's the charm when it comes to coffee tables. Okay, so the other day Target was having a sale on books. I talked about it in my home decor finds video. I think I like linked it down below because it wasn't like an advertised sale. I just happened to be looking at books and I saw it and it was buy two, get one free. And I've been on the hunt for coffee table books. So I thought that was a good time. So I got three books. So I'm gonna open this up. Okay. bigger than I thought it would be. Wow. Okay. I got Homebody by Joanna Gaines. Mostly because, so I want to style these with like a candle on top or like on the coffee table or I don't know. I really like that look. So I was really looking for how the spine looked and I thought this was really pretty without the cover. So like it could be used like that or with, um, cover and then it just has a bunch of like inspiration so the next one I got it's called house story and it just has a bunch of inspiration again and once again I liked the spine as you can see and I like how they're different sizes and then the third one is this one called habitat the field guide to decorating and I'm just excited to read these 
and go through and get like decor inspiration or like learn things about designs like do's and don'ts and stuff and once again this one just had a really pretty spine so I'm not gonna put these all together but just in different areas I thought it might be good for on the coffee table or I don't know I really like them so I'm about to go to Kirkland's to pick up a mirror. So we have a fireplace and it's a, a lot bigger of a fireplace than I'm used to. Our old house had a fireplace, but I feel like it was kind of like the standard one, I guess. Like my friend has the exact same one. So I'm wondering if that's like the builder grade. I mean, ours isn't anything fancy. It's just bigger and the mantle is a lot higher and the ceilings are higher. So I just haven't known what to do with it. Our last house, we just smacked a TV above the fireplace. Here, one, there was no studs to do that behind the fireplace. And two, the mantle's kind of too tall for that, I feel like. So I have been looking on Pinterest. I've seen a lot of people put mirrors and then kind of layer, layer like art on top of it. So I'm going to Kirkland's to do a pickup order for a mirror that I got. Fingers crossed that this mirror works out. Is this blurry? I feel like I'm struggling right now. Let me mess with the settings a little bit. Hi. That's what I like to say. I like this, but I wish there was like glass over it, you know, like a regular picture frame. But it's $20. And it's on sale, so it would be $14.99. I feel like that's cute. I like this big black chandelier. Okay, I went to Kirkland's and I got the mirror. I also got a really cute picture. I showed it. I'll show it again right here. Um, because it was like $14 and I thought it was really cute. And now, since I'm over in this area, there is a huge at-home store, which is like a home decor store. So I just want to go in there. Also, I just I'm buying a table off Facebook Marketplace right now. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. She just messaged me back and said it's mine. Ah! It is going for it. So we need a dining room table and chairs. We have a huge dining room and this kitchen table and chairs is selling for $150. Huge table. It says it's 60 by 42 or if you pull the, put the leaf in, it's 78 by 42 with six chairs. It's in great condition. It just needs to be restained because it has like a lot of scratches on the top. But I mean, I probably wouldn't even restain it right away because we have young kids anyways. $150. I'm so excited. I'll put a picture on the screen. If you don't know what an at-home store looks like, this is what it looks like and it's absolutely huge. We're not here for bedroom decor, but this I feel like would kind of fit for my master bedroom makeover. I might get it. Kind of like these. Kind of like this. Ooh. That does not fit any of my decor. <laughs> I feel like I have so many, I have like two different styles that I like, or like three different styles, and they don't mesh well together. This is where we're at progress i will say ikea never fails me i'm a big ikea person this couch is from ikea and i wanted a layout different so like i can even switch where the armchair the armrests were like on what side and i don't know i just really like ikea you guys know that if you've been watching my channel for a while because half the stuff in my house is from ikea
Okay, ignore this, but as you can see, there is like a huge walkway now, which before the couch came to like here, so there wasn't as big of a walkway, but we just put this back here <laughs> real quick so I could film this. But this is the after, so this isn't gonna stay like this. Um, this is meant as like an entryway table, so I feel like it looks a little dinky with this huge TV on top. We are planning on mounting the TV like right there and we have one of those mounts that like pulls out and swivels so it can be in this position. And then eventually I'll get like a media console. And then we have that up there, which this stuff, I plan on keeping the mirror there, but nothing else. I wanna get like um, a more fun vase color and like some kind of different florals. And then I put this wedding picture up here for now, um, but the shape, is not what I want. I want something that is like a little more substantial. And then we have the couch, which I think it looks great. I think this is my favorite layout yet. So if you guys remember, we had it like this, and then these two were switched, if that makes sense. So essentially this ottoman was over there. And why I didn't like it was it came out really far, so there wasn't a lot of a walkway. Plus, this little side table, the only way to fit a side table was to have it like up against the window so you couldn't really close the curtains. And now it just feels so nice and cozy in here. There's so much room. Eventually we'll get a little coffee table. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the layout of the room is a rectangle. It's a big rectangle and these walls are the longer walls. So it did feel a little odd to have the couch long side this way and the rug long side this way where now I feel like the rug and the couch kind of match the layout of the room. And then we have those beautiful windows. So yeah, we switched it up again. Who knows, maybe we'll switch it up again another time. James was joking that we just have to try one more turn now because we've had it facing this way, facing that way, now we're facing this way. So next he said we're gonna face the kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's perfect. There's a lot more walkway, it makes more sense. I feel like it fits. I'm excited, let me know what you guys think. Wait, I just wanna, I just wanna show. Can I show you? What? My mom's at my house right now <laughs> while I'm filming this because I was like, oh, I forgot to film an after shot for the living room. And so she's down there ducking the whole time I'm talking. Okay, so this mirror was on sale for the 4th of July from Target. And this mirror was like $97 from Kirkland's, and this one's on sale, was on sale for 60. And it's way bigger. Which one do we like better? Now ignore this and ignore this because I'm gonna switch those out for different things. Something similar, but I don't want either of those. I'm just, this will be like a bigger piece of art. Maybe that's what it is, that picture's too. Or this.